Being a cheesemonger means sharing your own personal positive cheese experiences with your customer. You probably do things at home with leftover cheese that you have in your fridge that tastes delicious that your customers will probably like as well. We have all this cheese left over from our pairing video, so we're gonna figure out exactly how to create fun and exciting nosh ideas. I'd like to make a salad where we put the cheese in ourselves. What goes good in salad? Basically all the stuff that was not good for melting, uh, like a traditional blue. I always put a little bit of uh, shaved Parmesan in it. There are a lot of cheeses that people don't think to put mm. in a salad, and if you mix a great cheese with a couple of other interesting things, you can make something that's a little bit heartier oh, yeah. and also more delicious. So I grabbed some caramelized nuts and just chunked up a pear because I like those flavor combinations with blue, but they'd also be good with parm. Even Couple grabbing an aged Gouda. Like, yeah. like a lot of people don't even think about that, but this, this can shave just the same as Reggiano and you can put it on a salad. Totally. Nothing's gonna stop you. If you shave your own, you just have more choices. It actually lasts a little bit longer if you buy a chunk. I like a good wide piece, or even sometimes, you know, it's, it's a little bit thinner, but I like a good little chunk of cheese. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got blue, so totally different texture, but also often available mm -hmm. pre-crumbled. And I don't understand. <laughs> Crumb, wait, you, are you saying that crumbling cheese yourself is not that hard? It's really not hard and you get bigger chunk, chunks of cheese and you can crumble goat cheeses, fetas, mm. blues. So what do you want to do? Well. What cheese do you want to do? <laughs> I want to try this blue cheese actually. Okay. Can I just pick that up? Yeah, totally. If you put everything in the big bowl and you dress it and you toss it, all the good stuff falls to the bottom. Yeah. So I, I like make it in a smaller bowl or I'll dress the greens and then mm -hmm. I'll put the stuff on top. Get a little bit more flavor in there, you know, let's kick it up a little bit. And then just a little bit of drizzle. <laughs> all, that looks beautiful. It's all you. Nice and easy, all me. Yeah, oh, okay. Then I'll drive right in. This blue cheese is a lot chunkier, crumbling it up yourself. And it just tastes so much better. It does taste great. Mm. Nice and easy. Right. You can use basically any cheese where we try to go for the little bit harder, the cheeses or the blue or the crumbles. Excellent. Sounds like a salad.